to reboot well I, I, my completely computer froze up I don't know what happened there these for balancing my cars well they've all got burrs on them so um, <coughs> I really like this diamond um, mini cutting disc it's really handy I didn't realize it, it was so effective at cutting steel but it is <laughs> I actually cut a piece of spring steel in half the other day and I didn't think it would but it did So it saves me going all over to the um, grinder and <coughs> and getting the big grinder out for doing little jobs, which is yeah, it saves me electricity as well. Uh, damn it! I'm trying to get these. Um, I'll find the long ones because some of these are a little bit longer than the others and. Uh, I want to see if I can grind them down a bit. I probably need to put an elastic band around or something. Um. <coughs> Sorry, my, line, my my solar battery has gone on into sleep mode because of you. Uh, I drained it down quite a bit. <coughs> yeah, I built a circuit for it that um, if the voltage gets to a certain point it shuts power off to my LED light to pre prevent from, prevent <coughs> me from discharging it too much right I've got an elastic band around this lot all these oh, you can't even see what I'm doing uh, all these p welding, welding rod pieces um, I'm going to attempt to um, trim them down a bit, or at least take the burrs off um, with this uh, cutting disc. I thought, well, I don't know if it will do with do this, but. something they're all sort of different lengths which is kind of strange because when I put them in the vise and cut them with a hacksaw um, I was using the same marking I measured them with a ruler but for some reason they all came out wrong different <laughs> 
Yeah, I probably should deburr them one by one first. No, I'm not really doing much at the moment, but I figured nobody else is live, so. <coughs> Why is that one still? Some of these, I, I push them down to get them flap against this mat, and there's still some of them are still shorter than the others. I don't get it. It must not be square or something. Yeah, I think I need to deburr these because they're, they're kind of burred up. So I'll take. I think I'll just take one out at a time. <laughs> deburr them all. See how this goes. Ooh, that thing's gonna come out, I think. Maybe it's not loose. No, it's just oscillating with the light. I don't like the way that looks. It appears to be moving. It's the light that's oscillating. I'm going to reduce the speed a bit. It's a bit too fast. Let's try this. <coughs> Let's try this speed. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So much better than going into the kitchen and freezing my feet off. Because if I bring the grinder in here, it makes such a lot of noise. Right, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to deburr this lot. Then they'll sit properly when I'm trying to straighten them out. When I cut them off with a hacksaw, I didn't file them, you see. Ah, I really like this disc. It's very good. It gets the, gets the burrs off. I'm using a fraction of the electricity. <laughs> I'll tell you what I've been thinking of doing. Now that I've got this um, this new um, I'll just get the camera just a bit more Now that I got this new um, um, collet choke thing and you can put a, I made a drive shaft for it to go into my drill so I can put the smaller drill bits and it's like an extension and it gave me an idea um, 
I was thinking about making a mini a mini saw, a mini saw, you know, to cut pieces of steel. Um, I mean a bench saw, a mini bench saw. I was thinking maybe I could get um, maybe I could get a little table. Maybe I could get a table printed, you know, a little um, 3D printed table that's like a few inches long with a long drive shaft because I've got some more of that um, of this shaft stuff that springs steel so it doesn't it sort of springs back. I could mount one of these things. I could get another one of these things actually, get two of these. Then I could mount my I could mount my little cutting disc, diamond cutting discs, right? In the center. Right, I have a motor on one end. I make a little table where I could just slide my steel along and cut it, but yeah, these diamond cutting discs are very good and they do cut through this steel, but obviously it would take quite a while to cut um, through steel plate, but it would be extremely handy when I want to adjust my adjust old laminations and say trim the ends off and make them a bit shorter if I wanted to alter them and things, you know. And instead of having to cut them with my snips and get a co cockeyed sort of, um, you know, a potentially cockeyed cut, I could have a, a table that keeps everything per perfectly in alignment and it's like a table saw you know like you cut wood on you know but cut thin metal pieces so I'm thinking hmm maybe I could do that and all I'd need is a couple of bearings at each end you know and the, the disc <coughs> the disc sort of sticking up to a crack in the, in the crack in the 3d printed table yeah I mean it that might be handy to have that make us make something it wouldn't be difficult to make uh, anyway I don't know hi I don't know if you don't know if you're watching uh, maybe I'm talking to myself <laughs> Anyway, um, I'll just carry on deburring for now. Okay, well, that's good. Well, at least I'm not talking to myself. And now somebody else, like Chuff, is going to say, "Link, please." <laughs> In fact, Hyde, um, you've got a 3D printer now. You could make your own table saw for cutting your... Um, I'll tell you why. Let me turn this off a minute. I'll explain why um, cutting discs, diamond cutting discs, are so useful. Um, let's say... let's just say Hyde that you want to cut some ferrite right let's say you've got some ferrite cores like this you can't cut them with a hacksaw right it's you can't cut them with a hacksaw because ferrite is just too hard the reason I got these discs in the first place was to cut ferrite now if I make myself a little table saw I'll be able to cut ferrite I'll be able to cut my ferrite with my diamond cutting discs right because the diamond is much harder than the ferrite so technically speaking you could make one as well especially since you've got a 3D printer and it wouldn't it wouldn't be a lot of work 
all you'd have to do is print out your little your table saw print parts and then you'd get your bearings and then a drive shaft and and get something like what I've got with this um, little chuck thing then you could mount your cutting discs on a sh dry shaft in between them yeah and uh, you're away you've got a table saw for cutting ferrite <coughs> because you can't hold this stuff you just can't hold this in your fingers and hold it up against the blade because you're going to get cockeyed results you know you you can fracture it then break it like like glass yeah but you're going to get jagged results it's not going to be very smooth but um, it would make it possible to make any kind of core material you wanted obviously if you want to make two long ones you can glue them together but if you wanted if you had an odd length and it was sticking out one end you could use your mini table saw to cut a piece off so you could even use it on um, I've got these other ferrite rods like this one here I've got a big piece of ferrite it's an antenna flat piece of ferrite I accidentally broke I accidentally broke this one I uh, super glued it back together again yeah it, that's one thing I really could use actually is a, a mini table saw just for cutting ferrite on <coughs> I'm just getting a link. I'm just getting a getting a link for um, anyone that doesn't have a live stream. Up. <coughs> yeah, this has made a real nice job of the ends as well. It's um, it's better than the file would have done because if I'd filed it, um, it would have been more on one than the other. But because I'm turning it against my diamond disc it's come out with the ends really smoothed out that's good I've got more to do once I've got these the burrs taken off I really need to cut them the same length Oh my god, what the hell is that? Somebody needs to use tiny URL. Who type? What the heck? <laughs> now it's gone. <laughs> go a bit slow on this one because it's a piece of welding rod and it's got a flat on one end
I think I'll just take the rubber band off this lock because I only use these bits of uh, steel for tuning when I put them in the slots I can use them as core material and just the sense adjust the actual balance so I found that I don't actually need them at the moment You gotta watch your fingers with these diamond swords, you know, because they they can actually cut skin. They're very sharp. I need to, I need some more copy I think in a minute. <laughs> uh probably need to move the camera that way a bit. It's probably in the wrong place. That's better.
I definitely feel more comfortable at this speed because high speed if it comes out it flies off and hits you in the face and it's not very nice it happened to me once it hit me in, it hit me in the neck and it was kind of it stung quite a bit Okay, just three more of these to go. Then I'll think about cutting some down to size because some look a bit too long. My drill is cool as well, I'm surprised. But it doesn't get very hot at this doesn't get very hot at this speed. Oh, by the way, my um, the device is currently tuned to 1.073 of a volt. <coughs> That's better than it before because the last time I think it was a, I got it up to 1.5 1.05 of a volt. Well, now it's at 1.073, so I'm almost at 1.1 at the rate I'm going. <laughs> turn the damn thing off if I can <laughs> okay I've got all that lot done I um, I really need to um, get them the same length as I can so I'm going to 
going to put them back in this elastic band. It should slide a bit easier now that the, the burrs have gone. Try not to break my elastic band. If I can get another one out of it, uh, I need to be tight. There we go. <coughs> What I want to do is if I can mark them while they're in position like this by using my cutting disc to mark them where I need to trim them off. So if I can get the longer ones on the inside, that one's longer so that wants to be on the inside. Oh, it's hard to get it. Ah. Right, let's stick the long one inside the pack. Damn it! That this is not as easy as it as it might seem. So if I oh actually if I push the thin one out. Oh damn it! Dropped it now. This one's obviously short, so it wants to be on the outside. I want the long ones in the inside because I can easily cut them. Then I might even anchor them in place with super glue once I get them lined up. Okay, that's not bad. This one is a little bit longer. So I want that one in the middle, near the middle if I can. Maybe I can just shuffle them a bit like a Rubik's Cube. <laughs> I don't know. I'll try that. Because mm. it's not far off that one. get them the bottom straight which it isn't because I am useless at getting things square well I can see that that is not square yet When I get it square, if I put some super glue down down them to hold them all together temporarily to hold everything so it doesn't slide. Oh, that looks better. Oop. So um, I'm going to attempt to cut them while they're in this arrangement. 
because there's more heat dissipation and you see it won't get warm <coughs> when I get them squared up this is not easy I'm probably going to have to um, hmm I don't know I'll have to put them on something really really flat maybe The trouble with this rubber band is it, it's got springiness and it keeps wanting to uh, move other ones that I don't want moving. Once I get them square, the super glue will hold them so that they don't move. Oh, 
ridiculous. It's leaning that way now. Ah, uh, this is no fun. Oops. Uh, let's see. I'm not far off. Oh, it's leaning this way now. <clears throat> Bloody hell. Well, I think that's actually very close. I think that's good enough. I need to just very gently put that down. <coughs> oh, I'll get some tissue. I need something that super glue will not go through. So, ah, this will work. Um. No, I'm not going to use that one. Um, hang on a minute. Look at a bit of waxy paper. I would also work. Waxy paper. <coughs> so if I put this underneath, it won't go everywhere. We're upside down right now, so I've got to drip some super glue. I can't see because my my LED light won't work right now. So I'll use this other one. That is flat as well. Hopefully that's enough. It better be. Otherwise, I'm going to have, um, it's going to come apart on me. And if I put too much super glue in there, I'm going to have my fingers stuck to it. I'll just roll it around. Let that glue go where it needs to go. doesn't have to be perfectly square but I mean it need it doesn't need to be perfectly straight on the ends I'm just trying to get them the same length that's all really I'm gonna have to leave that a while to that super glue to harden because it's I can still I can feel stickiness <laughs> Because the, sh the long ones, because they're near in the middle, I can use the outside ones to guide my um, cutting disc. So basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to use the outside to guide me 
I want to go down and cut the longer ones off in the middle. That's the idea. So that I've got a reference point, an edge to rest against. And based on the, the speed I was able to cut that um, spring steel, this disc will cut pretty fast. But there's quite a bit in there to cut off, so there's about what? Um, three, six, I would say nine millimeters cross section in there to cut. Right, all the way over. So I need to find the, the shortest one. And that feels like it's stuck now because it's not. It feels quite solid. And that's good. That's what I need. I can't shift it now. I'll have to when I break these apart. I'm going to need um, my pliers to twist them apart because they're, they're stuck together solid now. <laughs> really solid. So let's see which is the shortest one. Um, well, it will be that one. Hmm. I think. Well, anyway, let me just get running and see if I can do it. See if it's going to work. Let me get that out of the way now. Let's see if this is going to work. Not the shortest one. Well, there's actually a few that are about the same, so. I really need to be on a flat surface. I'm going to use my rubber. Yeah, my rubber will have to be an elevated table or some kind of... I think I need more speed now. Ugh, typical. That should be better. The other one vibrates too much.
Oops. Nearly there. With one.
gonna have a rest a minute. <clears throat> this is also a feasibility test to see how effective it would be as a circular saw. I mean, a, a, a cutting table. <laughs> Because I want to see how fast I can go well with this little drill. Um, I'm actually not far off. Well, I haven't got far to go. It's actually a good thing I put all this metal together because it was getting quite warm. If I was cutting just one of them, it would have been rather hot. But yeah, this um, this is working. I haven't got far to go. There's, well, there's a few more to go actually, but the reason it keeps jamming is because it's almost through. Just <coughs> that iron dust making me want to sneeze. Who I was now. Oh, I think that's where I was. Oop. piece just came off. <laughs> I need to turn this around now otherwise I'm going to be hitting the shank. So if I turn this that way I should be able to get closer.
need a break my drill's getting hot as well still quicker than filing that's for sure hmm. actually I'm not far to go really I've been I've kind of rotating around that point and hmm. <coughs> I'm just gonna have a break because my drill is hot and it's cool down first I've got grit in my mouth must be like diamond dust or something yeah well when I say hot it's not hot that I can't grasp it with my hands it's not that hot but I just don't want to get it too hot because when it it's warm hot on the outside I'm pretty sure the motor inside will be a damn set hotter than what it is on the outside so I'm just going to let it cool for a bit and my disc is holding up really well these diamond putting discs are pretty good Absolutely. I'm quite amazed actually that the diamonds are still on the disc after all that hammering I mean look at this pile of muck down here I don't even see it It's actually working really well. Considering how much mass metal there is, there's a 